Hello, it's Sarah, and tonight, tonight's video is going to be about the nitrogen cycle, and this has to do with fish tanks. So, this is what I know. I am a disclaimer here. I am a beginner, but what I found out, I just feel like I could make it a little simpler for anyone else who's trying the hobby, who wants to get into an aquarium. So, start at the beginning. So what I did was I wanted a fish. So I went to the store and I got a kit. And in the kit, you get your tank, you get a hang on the back filter. Um, I got a heater because I, the type of fish I want to keep like at a certain temperature. I got a substrate. So that's the, whatever you're going to put on the bottom. You can get gravel. My first tank I got gravel. Then I got sand in my 29 gallon, and then I have a little tank, a 6.5, that has dirt. I don't know why I keep forgetting the eye, um, because I filmed this a couple times. Uh, okay, so you get your substrate, and then you get some decorations, like I got, it's called spider wood. You can get driftwood, rocks, all types of stuff, so I have like a little tree that's like spider wood and then I have this piece of dragon stone I don't know it was just cool looking and then I got this bubble like cave looking thing it has holes in it and it makes bubbles um, I got a couple plants I didn't know much about it at the time because you do need some of them get planted right into the substrate so you just plant the roots right underneath the, the, the gravel the sand whatever you put in there but some you have to glue Anubias specifically onto a rock or something and I've been using these guys like you can buy these I think you get three of them in a pack um, because that'll weight it down so you just glue it on and I use the Gorilla Glue super glue gel anywho that's another video so you get some plants and you glue them and you do your thing and you you know whatever okay then you put water in Oh, you also get a lid so just think of that as a lid and a light you get a light and if you have too much light you're going to get algae but if you have live plants you want to have light because that's part of how they grow um what else um okay so you get a fish so you get a little fish oh my god my drawing is not on point tonight <laughs> uh, sorry fishy anyway you get a fish you put them in now I was told to start my tank with this API quick start it says it allows instant addition of fish limits toxic ammonia and nitrite and helps prevent fish loss it also contains nitrifying bacteria okay there's a lot I have an article that I might put in the um, description that's more, it's done by a scientist and, it, and it's basically about these two products, Seachem uh, Prime and Seachem Stability. This one, um, Prime is a dechlorinator as well, which that's a true thing. If your water, now we have well water, we don't have chlorine in our water, but a lot of city water has chlorine and that will kill your fish. So you have to use, and we have a pool, so I know all about this, like we get, Joe uses chemicals all the time to like change the pH and all that stuff and that's involved in fish keeping as well so the water parameters are what the nitrogen cycle is all about so you want to and that's I got this kit this is the um, here I'll just oops might as well show you that I got the freshwater API freshwater master test kit and I'll do a test with you I just got a sample of water from my 29 gallon and we're gonna see where my levels are so I can talk to you about this so alright but when you first set up your fish tank it is sterile so this is what they call new tank syndrome so you have no biology really happening in the tank yet it's sterile everything's brand new I mean you rinse it off and some things you even have to boil and things like that like they recommend you boil um, spider wood and um, driftwood and stuff because like there could be things living in there anyway it's sterile once you introduce a fish 
or they call it ghost feeding. So you don't put a fish in there and you just put food in there. Something that's going to start to um, start the start the cycle. So here's what, what I'm talking I put a fish right in there and I used this quick start because I didn't know any better. I just did what they told me to do. So I come home with my 10 gallon. I put my bed of fish in there and I do that and I'm just so confused. I Because then I start watching all these videos and you start to hear about the nitrogen cycle and people get really pissed if you put a fish in your tank that hasn't been cycled. So I was like, oh, I guess I made a big mistake. But guess what? These products didn't exist for eons. Well, when I was a little kid, I don't remember ever having anything like this that detoxified things and whatever. I mean, I wasn't in the, 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 hab, the hobby. But what I do know is the amount of ammonia that one fish puts out isn't going to kill it, especially if you do water changes. So here's what happens. You put a fish in. They exhale ammonia, I think, um, the food. You're feeding it. And what happens when you feed it? It poops. And then it also has food that he doesn't eat that just lays on the bottom and starts to degrade. That makes ammonia. So this equals ammonia. That is toxic. It can kill your fish. So it's also just like if, you're, if your ammonia levels are really high, it can just, even if it doesn't kill the fish, it can hurt the fish. Like their gills can get burned. You know, when you dive in a pool that has too much chlorine, your eyes burn and all that stuff. So think about a fish. Like, um, anyway, so as a conscientious pet owner, we don't want to do that to our fish. We don't want them to have ammonia. So people are so against putting a fish in there for any chance that it would have any ammonia come into contact with it because new new tank syndrome you don't have a cycle yet so let's talk about the cycle for a minute all right what i'm going to do in my test kit is there's the ph ammonia nitrite and nitrate and they live in the water column all right, so these things, I'm going to write it down just so we, ammonia, nitrate, no, nitrate first, then nitrate. They live in the water column, so they're in the water. That's where they are. All the, whatever happens based on your bio load meaning how many fish you have in there, how often you feed your tank, how many plants you have. All of that is your bio load. Everything that um, can affect the cycle is considered your bio load. Okay, so here's what happens. You put a fish in and you get ammonia. So you get a little bit of ammonia. And you know what likes ammonia is uh, the good bacteria. It's kind of like gut health, right? we know that we have good bacteria in our guts that eats the bad bacteria, that eats the bad stuff. And it has to stay in balance. It's a similar thing as, oops, I got water on here, in the fish tank. It's just about keeping it at balance. So for me, why I'm gonna do this test is because I just got new fish. I added fish to my tank so I increased my bio load, meaning there's probably, they're gonna be putting out more um, ammonia. Okay, so the good bacteria eats the ammonia. Then it poops out or it, you know, when it's done eating the ammonia, it becomes nitrite. Then good bacteria eats the nitrite. I don't know how to spell. And it poops out <laughs> nitrate. And that's a cycle. That's the cycle. Those, those three things. This is toxic though. This is toxic. In, in high levels. So ammonia and nitrate are toxic for your fish. Nitrate is manageable. And what also happens is live plants will use nitrate as a nutrient that they use. So having lots of, um, and I, I think it's, um, I just got those floating plants that I shared in my last video. They 
work with nitrate. So this is the least toxic and if you're if you have enough good bacteria in your tank to get you to a healthy level of nitrate, your your tank is cycled. But every time you add something to your tank so you get more fish. Now, I only had a bed of fish and snails. And those snails eat a lot and poop a lot, but I was also overfeeding the tank. And I mentioned that I actually, I think I might have mentioned, but I did kill a fish by overfeeding it. I kept feeding my beta fish because I thought she was just hungry and I didn't realize that they will just eat whatever you put in front of them. And I got her, like, she got something called dropsy. Anyway, but she died. So um, don't be afraid to underfeed your fish. They're not going to starve. What's most important Important is getting the ammonia to a level well you want to get rid of the ammonia and just have nitrate in your tank so let's take the test and let's just see where my levels are I'm gonna grab a paper towel and this kit comes with these little vials and I'm just gonna take the water from my tank and fill this up to its five milliliters Good. I usually go back and forth, back and forth. That was a good first try. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take a little out. So this will take me a couple tries sometimes. So let's just, I can go off camera and do it. That's very good. Okay. So here's what you get. We're just gonna test the three main things, but there is a pH test in here too, which I'm just not gonna do right now because our pH is pretty good our water pH things do affect that and I will test it but just for this video I'm just gonna stick to the three things that are part of the nitrogen cycle so um, the first one is ammonia so there are two bottles in here bottle number one and bottle number two so we're gonna do eight drops of each in a test tube so I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm going to put a little cap on there and shake it up. I'll just make sure it gets mixed with the water. And then I'm going to put eight drops of the second ammonia test. I'm going to shake that up too. It tells you how to do all this in the kit, in the instructions, but I'm just doing it. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm just doing it quickly for you guys, but I'll read it in a minute. Let me just get this going. So that's our ammonia. I have to just wait and let it, and then we'll, oh geez, I just spilled the water. Um, let me fill up this last. One more drop. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do the nitrite next. That's um, only five drops of one thing. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to cap that and just give that a shake. And this, if I'm right, this should turn purple because I know that it's going to be high. Last time I tested this, um, since adding the fish because I've been doing water changes every day since I got the fish because I added ammonia to my tank by adding fish. Anywho. And then the last thing we're going to test is the nitrates. And this is okay to have in your tank, but you just want it to be between, I think it's 40 ppm, 40 parts per million and zero. And I'm sure the lower the better, but like I said, the plants eat this stuff, so it's not that bad. Let's see, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to cap it and shake that up. And then it says to shake bottle number two really well before you put it in the vial. Ten drops of this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and then we're going to just let that sit for a sec, and I'm going to read to you 
what it says in here because it's very helpful to understand to understanding this whole thing. So you just go to here and we're going to skip the pH and we're going to do the ammonia. It says, why test for ammonia? Fish continually release ammonia directly into the pond through their gills or aquarium through their gills, urine, and solid waste. Uneaten food and other decaying organic matter also add ammonia to the water. A natural mechanism exists that controls ammonia in the aquarium, the biological filter. However, as with any natural process, imbalances can occur. So, testing for the presence of toxic ammonia is essential. Ammonia in the pond may damage the gill membranes and prevent fish from carrying on normal respiration. High levels of ammonia quickly lead to fish death. Even trace amounts stress the fish, suppressing their immune system and increasing the likelihood of disease. So that's why people get so upset when you add fish to an uncycled tank because they're afraid you're going to hurt the fish and I get that. I just don't want to feel like I'm a, the worst human in the world so putting this out there I just want to make let everyone know that we're not perfect and we make mistakes and as human beings we try to control environments that we have no business controlling. <laughs> Anywho, so that's why you want to test for um, ammonia. So it says Testing tip, this sal salicylic, I'm sorry, salicylate based ammonia test kit reads the total ammonia level in parts per million. So I did all, it just tells you all the drops and it says, in a new aquarium, the ammonia level may rise and then fall as the biological filter becomes established. And what they mean by that, the biological filter, meaning that's the good bacteria. So it's going to get in your filter because the water keeps cycling through there so the ammonia goes into the filter and then supposedly that's where the the good bacteria can get it and touch it and change it and I don't know all right so then let's talk about the nitrite nitrite is produced in the aquarium by by the, by the biological filter because that's the output remember I said once the bacteria, the biological filter, eats the ammonia, it makes the nitrite. And then that good bacteria eats the nitrite and that makes the nitrate. So that's why it's saying the biological filter creates the nitrate. Um, beneficial bacteria in the biological filter convert the ammonia into nitrate. The filter then converts nitrate into nitrate. Nitrate in the aquarium is toxic. It will prevent so the same things. It's still toxic. Um, too many fish as well as uneaten fish food and decomposing plants and other organic matter can cause excessive nitrate levels. Um, so the water should be tested for nitrate and then it gets down to nitrate. Well, it tells you what a, what a good level would be but the last thing is nitrate. Um, wait, here it is. Um, nitrate is produced in the aquarium by the biological filter. Beneficial bacteria in the biological filter convert toxic ammonia and nitrite into nitrate. A high nitrate level indicates a buildup of fish waste and organic, organic compounds, resulting in poor water quality and contributing to the likelihood of fish disease. Maintaining a low nitrate level improves the health of fish and invertebrates. Excessive nitrate also provides a nitrogen source that can stimulate algae blooms. So the algae likes high nitrate levels. So if I keep my levels at what they suggest here, I shouldn't get an algae bloom and I shouldn't stress out my fish. So let's look now at my levels. And remember I said I just added new fish so my cycle is a little tweaked. Right now I'm not showing any ammonia so I'm very happy about that. It's not the most toxic thing it could be. I don't know if you can even see but it's yellow say it's zero. The nitrite is what I told you is probably going to be purple and even from yesterday it's gotten lighter but I want it to be this blue color so let me see if you can see that. It's this color it's definitely lessening because I did a water change and I'm probably going to do a water change tonight. Um, and then my nitrate which is the least toxic is still not, I mean, it's definitely low enough, 
but I still want my biological filtration to eat more nitrite. So the, the way that I'm going to be able to dilute this, let's go back to my little drawing. So if I have, I think I drew this on one of my previous I'll just use this. Um, make sure all this stuff is closed. Okay. So, here's the, the point is. So, I have these levels. So, my ammonia was zero. I think my nitrite was 0.25. And my nitrate is, I would say, 10 ppm. And I have a 29 gallon tank, so let's just make it 30. What I'm going to do, and I'll make a video for you, is I'm going to show you, so my tank is all filled up with water. I'm going to take out at least this much water, maybe this much, I forget. It's I have a 5 gallon um, tank. So what will happen, and then I'm going to add fresh water. So it's going to dilute the water that's in the water column. My, my beneficial bacteria, nothing gets changed about that. The only thing that you can do is, like, you can rinse out your, um, the little filter thing that's in here, and they say to use, like, not to run chlorinated water over it, and people, I'm, this is what I'm still very confused about, is when do you change your filtration? I don't know yet. I'm still working on that, really finding the, a clear answer of what's going on with that because I do know a lot of the beneficial bacteria is in there but there's two parts in your filter um, I'll make another video about that so I'm gonna change and then I'm gonna add in fresh water so it will dilute the water column enough and hopefully bring this level up to zero because I'm right about here and then I'll be right on point so this has been since Saturday Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So three days, I've done three, this will be my third water change today. Um, so my ammonia is zero. So that's the most toxic. I don't have any toxic ammonia in there. But the good bacteria isn't quite, when it eats this, it's not quite taking up all the nitrate. And I still have, um, well, I have a, this is definitely not high. This is not high amount of nitrate. You see what I'm saying? I know it's a little confusing. Guess what? That's why I decided to make this video. And I hope that any of you guys who are in the hobby will please put in the comments your experience with the nitrogen cycle and tip me, help me with anything I'm off point on um, because... I'm learning. I'm just here to learn and share what I know with you guys. Um, and so hopefully there will be no bashing and, you know, just FYI, I will delete it anyway. So I don't go for drama. I only like helpful, um, kind comments. Um, so that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys and I will definitely be checking the comments for any of your wisdom and that's it thanks for watching